<sighs> hey guys, it's James here. Welcome to the Movie Bad channel. As you can see earlier on, we've done the competition draw. And uh, we were going to do a Greatest Showman review, but I had to cut that video short. So there you go. Uh, so I thought I'd show you some of the pickups I got over the last 10 days or so. And a few other bits and pieces. So let's have a look. So first of all, I ordered this off Music Magpie, and to be honest with you, I ordered it for one ninety nine, and you can trade it in for 5 at CEX, so I thought, order that, trade it and get yourself 5 quid. But, Music Magpie lately, really, let's have a little look. Now, you know, you see if I had the odd scratch or that, I would have just gave it to Charlie or whatever, but, he, this one here, that, that was not, that was, that was not too bad. Home Alone Family Fun Edition. Oh, and also Home Alone 2, not too bad, but look at this guys, that's the quality checks at Music by Pie. Really. Oh well, so as I say, I'm going to get rid of that, unfortunately. There you go. So I uh, did pick up a few other bits and pieces over the course of the week and I'll show you what they are. Uh, so I was in the Heart Foundation the other day and first of all I found Collector's Edition Dirty Dancing 20th Anniversary. There you go. Good movie. And it's a Collector's Edition for $1.99. So I picked that one up, that was great. Also picked up the classic. Now this was a, I think this was a brutal movie for its time. Brutal, and uh, I'll take the price off of it. Brutal movie for the for its time, and absolutely. Obviously, the effects in that don't hold up very well, but it is a classic movie. Can't remember. Let's see, Peter Weller. Is it? Can you guess what movie it is? No. Who wouldn't want this on Blu-ray? Oh, let's get the stickers off. I'll show you. Robocop. The one scene that stands out to me is uh, where they get the bad guys capture him and they go and they blow off his hand and the one of them goes, Give that man a hand! And start bursting out laughing. Now that's a really brutal movie. The Robo the new Robocop honestly, what were they thinking when they made they made that one? Uh, I also picked up the Conjuring. Because I think I've got the Conjuring 2 on Blu-ray, but I don't think I have the Conjuring. I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. So I picked that up. Still completely sealed on there, and that was $1.99 as well. Just bear in mind, any ones I got in CEX, I use store credit for. I picked up a couple of things this week uh, in charity shops. Um, and uh, with the things in the charity shops, I traded them in, and I got store credit. I, it was £18 I got, so I took that and I used it. So I got that, and I picked up Raging Bull. I don't have this on Blu-ray. I don't even know if I've seen this one. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will have seen it, but I can't remember it very well. So happy to collect on that nice De Niro classic there. I also picked up one of the James Bonds I've not got on Blu-ray, and that is Spectre. I can't remember if I actually seen this or not. I think I have, but to be honest with you. All the ones that I've seen so far, James Bond and Daniel Craig, Casino Royale is still the, by far the best one, I think. Uh, what else did I pick up? Oh yeah. I picked up Birdman. Now, I haven't, I've have not got this one. I actually watched it on, must have been a streaming service or something like that, and I thought it was really good. So, I've not picked that. And Michael Keaton, what's that? He played Batman, The Vulture, and Birdman, so that's three. <laughs> wing character shall we say. So again I thought that was a good deal to pick that one up for £2.50. I really enjoyed that one. And since I put it, ah look I don't think I've got this on Blu-ray so that's why I picked it up. Casino Royale 50p. I do it. Some of these mobile phones are off. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. Dear, oh dear. Be quiet. 
Here we go. 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 So I picked up Casino Royale. And again, what's that? I feel a bit heavy. Got one of these uh, coming soon ones. But uh, that's another little thin case. So that must be one of these. Uh, the American ones tend to have these thin cases, don't they? Now, I quite like them because for me, if you can keep them in this and it's a single disc, why not put them in one like that? Because it's a, it's a, as I say, it's a good space saver. And this will pick that up too. And I had Dances with Wolves on DVD and to be honest, sometimes I rip my movies to my hard drive so I can plug in my hard disk and just watch them later. The quality is not always great so I actually stopped doing it. But when I ripped this one, I forgot it's got subtitles and that didn't really work out. So happy with that one. And that is Dances with Wolves. Five pounds, did overpay, probably. But let's have a little look at this. Not too bad. Alright. So I'm happy with that one. Uh, so today I went out and done a little bit of movies, just my shopping hunting. I did start filming a hunting video, but to be honest with you, for the first four or five shops I didn't find anything. But actually I found one in the, a couple of things in the very last shop I went in. And I picked up DC Legends of Tomorrow Series 3. And I paid, I think I paid 2 99 for that. I haven't seen any of these, so I thought may as well. Uh, I thought may as well pick that up for two ninety nine. Complete third season. How many episodes is it? Dolby Audio. Doesn't say. How many episodes, but I know this is it. Four, I reckon, or 16, if I'd have to guess. 16 or 20, if I'd have to guess. So there you go. So I picked that one up. And just as I was leaving, I actually spotted this one, <laughs> which was season two. So all I need is season one now. And I, I say, so I picked that one up as well. Very happy with that. Let's say it should have an ultraviolet code with this one, but I don't think it's got it. And then, to be honest with you, I think this is the pick off the charity shop hunting. I probably paid, I was going to say the most I've ever paid in a charity shop, but that wouldn't be right. But I picked this up and I thought, well worth it. I haven't seen all of this yet, but Star Trek Discovery, whole first series. This must have just came out. So how it's in the charity shop, I'm not quite sure. But five discs, 22 episodes, is it 15, no, 15 episodes, is it? Oh, 15 episodes, 10 behind the scenes, deleted extended promos. Eight ninety nine, five disc set. So very happy with that. I say, you know what? The truth is though, I ha I I'm because it's Star Trek. I'm going to collect it. But so far, I've watched about six or seven of these episodes, and it's a bit too. Is it JJ Abrams that does this? I don't know. But J.J. Abrams, a lot of these series, Lost, Fringe, this one, have all got like a really intricate intro sequence. Yeah, and they're really, really uh, complicated. And I just think, so, so far, uh, for this Star Trek, it's not portraying the original vision of Star Trek. It is a change and a try to update it. But you can do that, but you still have to stick to the true ideals of Star Trek, which is that humanity's future is going to be better. There is, there is a, each story in the next generation or something like that, there was a moral to the story. Now, I know they want to do like a continuing story arc in this one, but so far I just don't get it. And I like to support any, any Star Trek series, I like to watch them all. There isn't one I'm not going to buy, and just because I'm not a fan so far of this one, doesn't mean it won't get any better. So I'm really hopefully that hopefully that this this one improves for me. Because you always want to see Star Trek. Oh, I do see Star Trek on TV, and uh, give it give it a, uh, give it a chance. Because you know, first season of Next Generation. To be honest, I like that from the start. So a lot of people said it wasn't that great, but I liked it from the absolute start of that one when I was ten. Always wanted to watch that on TV. So I was very happy with, happy with that. So I'm going to give that one a chance. I'm going to watch the rest of the episodes. And, you know, to find it for £9 when it's just came out, couldn't have passed that up. 
So I took it. So that's all the pickups I've got. Uh, we showed you the competition prizes for next week in the last video. So if you do want to enter, remember and go to the previous uh, video and put your name down and your details and you know, make sure you're a subscriber and we'll enter you in. And uh, I chose these two because I like action, post apocalyptic battle scenes. And to be honest with you, I, I, I really, really like this one, Battle of San Jose. I've watched this over and over again. I think it's really good. Best bit when he goes, at the end he goes, what are you doing? Get yourself some breakfast. He goes, we already ate. And then just gets gets the bullets again. I love that bit. And Battleship's a bit more cheesy. Okay, Aliens and Raiden and the Battleship. But, you know what? That's a great popcorn movie. I don't care what anyone says. I really enjoy that one too. So these two here, I say, great popcorn, great action movies, and I like them both. I'm surprised that they get more credit. Well, no, I'm not surprised because you know what? Everybody's got movies they like, and I just happen to really like these two, so I'm happy with that. So thank you guys. If you've got any 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 comments or any thoughts, just put them down below, and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thank you.